Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to prime the eyes to prevent any eyeshadow from creasing and to make everything appear more vibrant. vibrant. I'm using my matte paint pot in the colour Painterly, which is just a flesh tone colour. And the first colour I'm going to use is a transition shade, and this is a Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. And it's just the warmer of the mid-tone browns. And on a fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to work that through the crease. This is going to act as a transition, add a slight bit of definition. But mainly it's just going to help everything look a lot smoother so it's going to make the dark colours from the lid kind of fade up into the lightness of the brow bone. We don't want anything harsh and choppy. And then I'm going to go in with the silver and I'm going to take Verve from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And I'm going to start packing that on the inner half of the lid with a nice dense flat brush. I'm really packing that on and you can swipe it once you get out to the outer corner and kind of to disperse any fall down. But starting off by packing it which will intensify the colour and then just swipe it to remove any of the loose particles that will fall down. And then I'm just going to get a bit more on the brush and spray it with some sp setting spray. And this is going to make the silver really more metallic and a lot more shiny. So as you can see on that very inner corner, it's a lot more metallic -y. It looks more like a metal pigment kind of thing. So again, just work that, focusing it mainly on the inner part of the lid. Just for that really shiny metallic look. And this silver is going to look good on all eye colours. And then just quickly with that blending brush, just buff out any harsh edges. And then with the same Naked 2 palette, I'm going to use a colour Blackout, which is just a dark matte black. You want something really dark and black for this. Um, and with a pencil brush, I'm just going to pack that in the outer corner in like a V-shape. So it doesn't matter what it looks like at this precise moment, just pack it on. Get the depth of colour in there. And then later on we're going to use all the colours just to blend it out and make it a lot smoother. But we want a really dark, precise um, corner in this eye look. So really work it in and pack it along. And then taking this really dark grey colour by MAC called Typographic. That's what I'm going to use to blend this eyeshadow. This eyeshadow really helps when you're doing any kind of looks with blacks in them. Just because it creates a gradient. Again, like I said with the transition colour, we want a gradient. So this is going to be the gradient between the black and the silver and also between the back black and the crease line. So I'm going to take that through the crease with a big fluffy brush and just buff everything out. Make sure that black's got no harsh edges and that it's nice and smooth. And you can always go back in with more black if you want to intensify it. But I think just keep going in and buffing it is the most important step for this look. Because you want everything to be so nicely blended. Because we are working with dark colours, it can easily go from like a nice dark smoky eye to looking like you've been punched in the face. And then, as you can see there, I'm just packing on a tiny bit more silver because we don't want to lose the intensity of the silver. So sometimes blending, you can lose that. And then with another clean brush, just blending out the edges again. This look really is all about blending. So this has got nothing on this brush. Absolutely clean and just blending back and forward. You could always use a brush you applied the original transition colour on. Um, but I just wanted something completely clean. And then with any liquid eyeliner or gel eyeliner of your choice, I'm going to do a winged eyeliner just for a lot more depth at the lash line and also it's kind of going to ground the look because we have a lot of that shimmer on the inner corner this is just going to ground it, make it look a tiny bit more wearable in my opinion and as I said I'm doing a wing, I just trace along the lash line draw the wing and then connect it back up and then I threw on my mascara and eyelashes and I didn't do a very good job at filming it so I just threw on some Benefit Area mascara and some Amazing Shine eyelashes and then I primed my skin with L'Oreal Skin Perfector and now I'm going in my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I chose quite a full coverage foundation for this look just because we're having a lot of tension on us because we have got this dark eye. We want to make sure the skin's perfect. And I'm just buffing that in with a Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush. This is quite a small precise brush and I like this to get kind of in like the corners around your nose and really buff it in. It gives more of a precise application, which I prefer with these full coverage foundations. And then using the sleek eyebrow pencil, and I think I'm using the colour medium here, I'm going to begin to fill in my eyebrows. And I trace the natural shape, and I do just create a bit more of an arch and elongate them slightly. But I don't want nothing too harsh, I just want them nice and defined for this look. Because again, we want everything else to be in moderation with the eyes, but obviously we want the eyes to be the focal point. So make sure you go in and kind of buff them out with the spoolie on the end, just so they look soft and natural. And then I'm going in with my concealer, and this one is a really high coverage concealer because with the darkness around the eyes, you want to make sure the under eye circles aren't dark as well, because that's what, again, 
when it can kind of look like being punched in the eye. So I'm just really making sure to cover up the under eye area and I'm buffing that all in with my beauty blender. And then because I wanted a little bit more light under the eye, whereas that concealer kind of matches my skin slightly, I'm going to go in with this Urban Decay Concealer Pencil and this is, as you can see, just a bit lighter than my skin. And again, I'm just going to buff that in with my beauty blender just to add a bit more lightness under the eye. So we have a bit of highlight under there. And then I'm going to set it all with my Daniel Sandler Translucent Powder just so we don't change any of the colour or the foundation or the concealer and just make, packing that mainly under the eyes and around the nose because that's where I tend to crease and get slightly oilier but you can set your foundation and wherever and however you see fit if you have really dry skin you might want, not want to use any powder at all and back in with a blackout shade I'm taking that on an angled brush and just running that right close to the lash line and then with a completely clean pencil brush I'm just going to buff that all around under the eye so I'd go in with the transition shade to buff it out or use a bit more typographic but I'll just use a clean one just so we have a nice fade under the eye and I spend quite a long time buffing under the eye because I think that sometimes if you don't buff well enough the look isn't really smoky, it's kind of too structured so I spend quite a long time buffing under the eyes making sure it's perfect and then take a beauty call which is the light shimmery colour I'm going to highlight underneath the brow bone and in the under corners you can use any light I've shed out for this. Um, obviously it all depends on your skin tone. I'm quite fair so this works for me. But if you're darker you, you can go in with a more peachy shade if you wanted to. So just making sure to buff that out as well because we don't want a harsh line of shimmer under the brow. And then I'm going to pop it in the inner corners and make sure to blend it in with the silver on the lid. So again it's nothing harsh. And this will just brighten up the eyes and make you look more awake. Because we have got quite a lot of darkness. We want just a tiny bit of light just so we don't look so closed off in the eyes and then popping on Benefit there Real Mascara just to the lower lashes to make them look more kind of defined and you make your eyes look more open and then I'm going to do some contouring with my Sleek Contour Kit and this Real Techniques Contour Brush I'm just going to buff that underneath the cheekbones and I take it around the hairline as well and through the temple and a tiny bit just underneath the jaw just to add structure to the jawline but you can contour your face differently depending on your face shape but this is how I prefer to contour mine and I also add a bit down the bridge of the nose just because my nose is slightly crooked so I like to even it out using a bit of the contour shade but if you do do this I would recommend taking your time practice it before you go out wearing it and really buff it in because otherwise you'll have kind of two brown lines down the side of your nose which isn't what we want we want this to look natural like you have a slimmer nose naturally not like you've got a lot of contouring down it and then with the highlight shade from the Sleek Contour Kit, I'm just going to highlight. So I'm going to use it on the tops of the cheekbones and then I put it just above the arch of my brow, a tiny bit on the nose and the cupid's bow. Just to add a nice glow to the skin where the light hits it. And then for blush, I'm going to use this Allure Blush by Ella Masca, which is a nice kind of dusty rose colour. And I'm going to really buff that in. I spend quite a lot of time buffing in my blush because... I really don't like harsh lines and I focus it on the apple of the cheeks and kind of blend it into the contour instead of taking it all back in that strict harsh line which I think can be quite old fashioned. So we really buff that in and make sure it looks really well blended because we don't want anything harsh. And also blend it in with a highlight. And then using the Too Faced Perfect Nude Lip Liner. I'm just going to use this to define and kind of readjust the shape of my lips. If your lips are slightly uneven, taking a nude lip liner to just slightly change the size of your lips works really well as long as you don't overdraw it and you can't tell that you've kind of gone over your natural lip line it looks really well and I'm going to go in with a pinky nude lip gloss and lipstick I mean uh, so this is Native by Adon Decay which is a really really nice baby pink colour and this is really creamy on its own so you don't have to add a lip gloss but I like quite glossy lips so I'm going to go over that with a nude lip gloss by Revlon called Bellini and then that completes your nude pink glossy lip so that will complete the look once you've added your lip gloss. You can add a setting spray or anything like that afterwards if you wanted to. But for me this is a complete look. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it helpful and thank you for watching.